Okay, so now we're comfortable with creating and using functions. Let's apply it with some examples. Let's start off with a little simple application here. We'll add an input object to our stage. And I'm going to name it input, actually, just so I can keep track of it. And I'm going to go ahead and um, add a button to as well. So I'm going to go ahead and name this button button so I can keep track of it. I'll just put in any basic button from the gallery here. Okay, so we're ready to go with our little demonstration. What we're going to do is create a function to check whether the number typed in this box is odd or even and display a dialog message box with the according um, response. So let's go into project, global functions, and start ourselves off. So we'll say function, check input, and we're not going to pass any values to it, so we can just type it in like that. And let's go ahead and start by getting the value from the input object into a variable. So we'll say result equals, and then we'll say input, get text, and then we're just going to name our input object here, which is called input. All right, now let's go ahead and act upon that value. What we need to do is check if this value is odd or even. So let's go ahead and go into our action wizard and from the math family choose this math mod action. And this is going to divide our variable result by 2. I'm going to type in result and 2. And then I'm going to leave the result variable as result because we don't need the original variable anymore. So we can replace it with this value to be used. And we'll press finish. And what it's doing here is it's dividing it by 2 and checking to see if there's a remainder. Now what we can say is if result does not equal 0, then our number must be odd. So we'll say if result does not equal 0, then answer equals odd. Else, answer equals even, because if it's not odd, it must be even. And then we simply put in a dialog message box here to, or we'll put in an end for our if statement first, and then we'll simply put in a dialog message box here to display our response. Uh, so we'll say in the title number it is, and then we'll pass the value. In this particular case, it's called answer. So I'll press OK, and now we'll just call our function from our button. So we'll click on our button, and in the on click area, we'll call our function check input, and then we'll press F5 to preview our project. Okay, as you can see, we've got our field and our button. I'm going to go ahead and type 35 into the field and click the button. As you can see, it tells me the number is odd. I'll try another number. How about 20? Number is even. How about 156? Number is even. So as you can see, it's definitely working. We'll try the number 1. Number is odd. And that's our functionality. Now. This is why is this important to create a function to do this instead of just putting all that code on the button? Well, why it's important is if we were going to create, for example, an application with a whole bunch of inputs and we needed to be able to test them for a certain functionality, uh, such as odd or even, we could put this function on our global function area and now throughout our project we can simply call that by saying check input. So, for example, if we have a 50 page project which contains uh, 40 different input objects, we don't need to redeclare that code 40 times. We simply use that check input function, and we've got the value that we need present right there. So this is a quick example of how we can start using functions. Let's go to the next video tutorial, and we'll take a look at another basic example.